Welcome to this short presentation on how to implement Proceda Analytics. Today, we are going to show you how to implement Proceda Analytics. Currently, when users log into Proceda, their main screen is blank. However, once Analytics has been implemented, when nominated users sign into Proceda, their main page can display a dashboard containing various analytic views, as shown here. Each user can build their own dashboards after you have configured the enabling rules. These mapping rules are easy to set up and can be maintained at any time from within the Talent module. Then, go to Reference, Workforce. Firstly, map all of your existing employment types to the standard Proceda metrics codes. In this example, these rules are mapped already, however, you will need to select New, and for each employment type in your Proceda, save it with a metrics code from the prompt list. You also need to map your leave codes. Currently, these are for reporting unplanned absences, based on your existing hours codes. Select any hours codes for leave, such as sick leave, that you want to report as unplanned leave. You can maintain this table at any time and remember to save each rule as you go. Lastly, you will need to map your existing terminations reasons. Whenever an employee record is terminated in Proceda, a termination reason is attached to their record. These reasons are customized for your organization. Each termination reason that you want to report over should be mapped against the selected metrics code to enable analytics to display as voluntary or involuntary termination, transfer, etc. Another point of reference for several analytic views is from fields populated from the Position Definition window. If you do not use this functionality or all of those fields, you will have limited results on several analytic views. If you are using position definitions in Proceda, analytic data can report over the location, classification, salary grade, seniority level, job family, and manager position fields. All of these rules will remain in force and can be maintained at any time. The next step to implement analytics is to ensure that each user has access to the correct views. We would suggest that initially you establish these rules only for your own user profile so that you can better understand the impact. Now, let's go into Proceda Access and review the windows that will make this all work. Open up your own access group and filter on these three activity IDs, M001442, M001632, and M001661. By activating Dashboard Access, the user will be able to manage which individual analytic views are able to be displayed when a user logs in to Proceda. This functionality is generally for Proceda administrators only. By activating Dashboard Options, the user will be able to customize some of their views. Reference to this is in the Proceda version 12 release notes. By activating Dashboards, the user will be able to create and manage their own dashboards and views when they log in to Proceda. Via System Management, Security, Access Profiles, Dashboard Access. In the search results, locate the access profile attached to your own user profile. Here, you will need to individually add each of the analytic views that you want to display on the dashboard when you next log in to Proceda. Key in the dashboard ID numbers and change view to a Y. The complete list is in the Implementing Proceda Analytics instructions. The instructions can also display the previous dashboard IDs from a previous version of Proceda, which can also be activated. However, you should review the Proceda release notes for version 12 for specific details. Remember to save your work.
Also in Proceda, access to the views can be from the Level 1 menu. To activate these for different users if required, you should go into Proceda Access for your own access profile and filter using Module is Exactly Analytics in the default access profile. As shown here, all current views are activated. You may want to consider not enabling this for other users so that they only see the updated analytic views when they log in to Proceda. And finally, you will need to give access to the views within the individual user profiles. So, based on what we have covered so far, for each user, the access profile will determine which views are available to display data. The group profile remains the same. The security profile determines which employee records are included in the reports, although some views override security and only display data for the entire organization. You should check the implementation instructions for specific details. Then, from the Advanced User Settings, flag the Proceda dashboards. It is possible to have two identical users in Proceda, and one may not see any dashboards or analytical views if this flag remains unticked. So now you should log out of Proceda and then log back in. Now let's review how a user can set up their own views and dashboards. A single dashboard or multiple dashboards can be visible each time a user logs into Proceda. A dashboard is a collection of up to six views displayed together. Initially, each user will not see any dashboards displayed. However, they can create and maintain their own, depending on the security settings you have established for them. In this example, we see displayed a dashboard named the main page. To create a new dashboard, click on this plus icon and name your dashboard. In this example, we are naming the dashboard Compensation. Choose the actual layout depending on how many views you want to display, with up to six views able to be displayed within any dashboard. Press OK. Then, click the graphical icon to select the specific views to add to your dashboard. You will be presented with a list of widgets, which can be positioned within your dashboard. Select one for it to be included and click Add Widget. Specific details about each view are in the instructions notes. Once a dashboard is established by a user, it will display each time the user logs in to Proceda. Users can build multiple dashboards containing multiple views. Views can be maximized by clicking the Resize icon to display the selected view in full screen. Many views display more information when the user hovers the mouse over various sections. Some views also allow the user to double click on a section to display more information. Views can also be closed by clicking on Close. In this particular view, we see an infographic displayed with a data overlay. Many views also have parameters which enable the user to change some reporting conditions. In this example, we will change from reporting more than four weeks leave to eight weeks and the infographic will reconfigure. Again, we can drill down for more information. As the administrator, you should review all analytic views before making them available to others within your business, as some contain personal information. Each individual user will have their security profile applied to the data they see in their analytic views. This example is a pie chart, and when we drill down on a segment, the data is displayed as a pivot table with columns and rows of date. All analytic views can also be exported in many different formats for use in reports, etc.
The last feature to show you today is how to build a dashboard and display it within a Proceda module. Following the same procedures as shown earlier in this presentation to build a dashboard. And also, link to module. In this example, to the payroll module. For this example, we will select one view. However, you can select multiple views if required. Here it is displayed when we log in to Proceda, including all the functional capabilities we have discussed so far in this section. Make the change within the setup to not show tab in main page, and this will remove it from this view. And now we can see it displayed each time we go to the payroll module. Thanks for joining today's presentation on Implementing Analytics in Proceda. Refer to the handout named Implementing Proceda Analytics for more information or log a call with our Proceda help desk. If you need consulting services, you should contact your account manager to discuss your requirements. No.